So Tim, we were talking about how to distinguish the, the bridge to make it clearly different to the... the yeah, and the yeah, so the, the key is in the lyrics with this, the, the half empty or the half full. So when, you, when you're talking about the empty stuff, you use open, open, more open harmonies. I'll just read the melody there. Stuff. I like it. And then so when we get into the, the half full, you, you flatten up the harmony harmonies bit. So it just has yeah. more notes in it. Yeah. Well and you could even that might be a place where we can have a bit of a desk camp over the top of the melody. Just to really Well, yeah, and uh, I mean that's that's the resolution of the whole bridge. So it needs to soar ultimately. Yeah. Uh, well, not sore as such, uh, as it's not a resolution, it's still an open question. Yeah. But it, it's, it's come down to the bottom line. This, this is the key question. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it, it needs some serious consideration. Yeah, and we can, when we, so when we get on to the next line, the stress dragging downward, if we... I'll read the chords from the distance here. playing around with there I think so we can that's a place where we can have overlapping yeah. and a bit more syncopation. Yeah, that, that, that's particularly what I was seeking in the syncopation uh, so that at least one of the parts is quite distinctly offbeat if you like yeah uh, with the with the balance yeah so we get basically recreating the sound of stress yeah is, tension is basically what we're doing yeah indeed indeed and then uh, with the, the last bit of the bridge, the feel it strong pull, is that that needs to have some movement in it. Yes. To move into the, yeah. into the third verse there. Yeah, I like the movement. Um, what, would we, what would we be doing with volume there? With um, all right. Well, yeah, we've got some decisions to make there. I think what you indicated originally was to go to fortissimo there. Yeah, that, that was in the absence of any other device. Yeah, but I, th I think that's, we can still do that, that kind of fits with what we, yeah. those harmonies. In other words, it leaves just, what I was wanting to do was to leave that last question unresolved, but sitting heavily. And uh, uh, indeed, uh, in some of the earlier versions, I, I had it stretched over more bars than what we have there. Yeah to have the question linger. So yeah, i probably stretch out your chord, rather, see, you've got it resolving to the G there, yeah. you've got it going. Um. Yeah. I'd just maybe keep the C minor in there and end on that. Yeah, that's and good. then, third verse. So the re resolution comes with the beginning. Yeah, of the yeah I think the longer we can hold the tension in that question, yeah. uh, the better. Yeah, I think that, that'll that work. Good. So let's make that change on the editing one. We did that. Yeah, and then what I was, yeah, I think that's, I think we're all, yeah, I'm, I'm, I can make that work. Then when we get to the third verse, uh, I like your suggest your original suggestion there that getting really loud to the end of the bridge and then dropping the volume away for the third verse. Yes. I think that's a really good idea. So what I would do there is um, that might be a place to I was thinking to put the melody into the tenor, maybe give it to the men and give the women a harmony there. Yeah, now one thing I'd like to see happen somewhere throughout the whole score is that each of the parts have a go at the melody. Yeah. Uh, just for inclusiveness. And, you know, I've sat next to the basses long enough to know how much they complain and they don't get the same thing <laughs> the melody. Yeah, so I think we do. And I guess likewise the altos would be wanting a piece of the action. Yeah, they want to sing something other than F, 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 G, G, G. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think we'd do it sort of like this. So we would give the women, the harmony part, and the melody to the guys. 
so this will be much softer. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Now, we spoke about the possibility of a key change uh, previously. Um, I think we left the answer was necessary. Yeah, I, I think if we're doing all these textural stuff, we might not need it. So okay. let, let's just have a listen to that third verse. You don't quite get the, but basically the harmony for the guys and kind of nice, close, very, very soft. So it sounds a bit more ethereal over the top. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Just so it's a complete change from the big build up we've yeah. had in the bridge. And then we can start rebuilding it up again here from staunchly strong. Yeah, and that's compatible because if we're talking about floating wings on high, you know, it's yeah. very ethereal stuff. And, and then everyone come back in here as because this is really like this. It's a strong statement. Yeah. Yeah. I had in the final chorus, can't quite remember where I had it, but it was quite close to the end as I said earlier, um, we had a dramatic diminuendo uh, to bring it all back to a very quiet uh, level uh, before going out on a big high. Yeah. yeah. Just to make that contrast and to set it up basically. Um, yeah, rather than set it up throughout the entire piece, which we're doing anyway. Yeah. It was almost a case of emphasising it by... Yeah, well, yeah, I think... It, down. Um, yeah, we, we kind of do that again with the third verse, so we get a... Yes, the, as you say. The build and the rebuild, but we can do yeah. that. I mean, there's no reason why we can't do that again. So perhaps bring it down here, or through days glide, glide swiftly by. And then from there, build up again to the end. Yeah. And I've just, I've, with the du the doubled up ending that you wrote, I've just given that a bit of a tweak too. Particularly the soprano is going over the top there, it sounds really good. Um, and from memory, I think this is where I had that in your window, in setting up the, uh, the, the last repeated line. Yeah. So. You know, I, I think you'd want to put it in slightly earlier. A bit earlier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where we have had it here. So we get. So it goes with the words. Then. So basically, you kind of trick the audience into thinking this is the build, and then you give them. Then you yeah. turn it up to 11 at the end. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I want 11 at the end. <laughs> Alright, that sounds good. Yeah. So that's so I'll need to have a bit of a play around with the bridge, but I think that's the kind of... I think we've basically got it pretty much sorted out there. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, drop the volume on the first chorus. 